Shalom brothers and sisters and welcome back to Reborn for Greatness Ministries. I am Apostle LaShondra and I'm super excited because this is the second video to the playlist that Holy Yeshaya has told me to do on how to apply the Psalms to your life. Okay. Um, and I also had forgot that Holy Yeshaya gave me a message back in February um, the month of February, the date, the 12th of this year, 2023. And I was instructed to say these words before every video. And I really did forgot. So, uh, forgive me, Father. I really did forget. But I'm going to start saying them on this video from now on. I am here to plant the seed by teaching the word of Ahaya, through his messages, visions, and dreams to me, and build your faith in Yeshaya, and he will do the rest in your heart. All glory to the Most High. So those are the words that I am instructed to give at the beginning of every video. And um, today these psalms that i received and other bible scriptures um that i'm going to read also i received this through a vision that i was given on april the 27th um of this year so i was in worshiping i was in worship and um and I was not really praying, but I was, well, praying, talking. I was talking with Holy Yeshaya in my mind. Um, and I received a vision of um, him laying uh, like a, a path down. Um, I'm closing my eyes. I can see it every time I close my eyes. So at first I was trying to read it off the book, but I'm closing my eyes. And so I, I see him before me. It's almost like he's glowing, like, you know, like a uh, he's glowing. And, and the path that he's laying down before me is glowing too. So as he's laying this path down, he's before me. And as he's laying this path down, I am walking this path that he's laying down. And I knew in my spirit exactly what he was saying. And Yeshua was instructing me to do. Uh, he was instructing me to just walk the path that he has already laid before me. And that goes for all of us, you know, um, to just lay, you know, just just walk the path that he's laid down before each and every one of us. And once I received this vision, I typed in the computer uh, because I don't know every word in the Bible. So I typed in the computer that what I saw and what came up was uh, Proverbs chapter three, verse six. And when I read, I was like, oh, yeah, you know how you when you read it, you be like, oh, OK. <laughs> so it, in Proverbs um, chapter three, verse six, it reads in all your ways, submit and he will make your paths straight. OK, and so somebody would say, well, what does this mean? You know, your path straight and. Yeshaya is saying that he will straighten out our crooked wandering ways <laughs> and he will lead us toward a life filled with abundance and purpose and good and love and he will help us in hard times and encourage us in tough times and he's going to pick us up when we fall and keeping us away from paths of sin and destruction. And that's what 
making your path stray means smooth, smooth, you know. So every, it's like right now in my, in my walk, um, what I'm reading and I've read the Bible from front to back. I still can't tell you every word for word, you know, uh, what went on from front to, to begin from beginning to end. But I will say this now in my walk, it seems like that I am going through these Psalms and I understand why he wants me to, um, teach, you know, you how to apply the Psalms to your life because he's teaching me to how to apply the Psalms to my life. He's teaching me the things that went on in the Bible and how they apply to my life, you know? Everything that I'm learning, you know, in reading, it's applying in the Bible. It's applying to my life, you know. And like I said, I think I said this a long time ago, you really just need one book. I mean, every time you go in there and read, you get something totally different. <laughs> and um, even in the Wakefulness Theology group, um, you, you all should come over and join us. Even in the Wakefulness Theology group, the teachings that we do on uh, Sabbath uh, service um, on Saturday mornings, the messages line up with what he's been giving me, you know, or teaching me, and they just seem to be what I'm going through. I'm living out the teaching, and um, this is the first time for that um, that I can remember. Um, since I've been walking with um, Holy Ashaya, I'm actually going through these psalms, going through these things. So I don't want to ramble because this video will be so long. <laughs> okay, so um, we we, we uh, um, I explained the vision and um, and what it means to make your paths um, straight. And you know, in this walk, it's not easy. This walk is not easy, let me tell you. Anybody that's really walking this walk and being obedient and trying to be a living sacrifice to Holy Father, Holy Ashaya, Holy Spirit, it's not easy. It's not. So I, I just thank you, Lord, for your for your precious blood. I, I thank you for your precious blood. But this walk is not easy. And sometimes you can get knocked off the path. You really can. You don't stay. You don't stay knocked off. But you can get knocked off the path. You know, just dealing with with the heaviness in your in your life, or even the heaviness of this world. Just the things that we're going through on our job and our with our families, with our children, with running a household, with being a parent. You know, just the everything, the things of this world. I think I said that twice. But you understand what I'm saying. Um, that can knock you off your path. It, it really can. So, in the Septuagint, stumbling blocks mean anything that leads to sin. And what can lead to sin? Having the heaviness from this world or from your, your everyday dealings in your life. And that can cause distress sometimes. And what is distress? Distress is emotional. It's, it's social. It's spiritual. It's physical, physical pain and suffering that can, you know, cause a person to feel sad and afraid and depressed and anxious or lonely. So, this is why Yeshua said in the book of Matthew in chapter 11, verse 28 through 30, he says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy. And my burden is light. That is beautiful. But 
sometimes it's it's hard to do. It it really is. Because we take things to Holy Yeshaya. We give him things, stresses and things uh, that worry us or, you know, things of this world. And sometimes we pick it back up. We know we shouldn't, but we're human. We pick it back up sometimes. And sometimes, I mean, it takes a toll on us. And we have to fight to get that off. So, reading Matthew, it brought me to Psalms. <laughs> it brought me to Psalms 119 and it brought me one hold on it brought me to Psalms 119 chapter 119 verse 143 in your NIV and Psalm 140 King James version and this um ties into the vision you know everything that I just spoke about okay so I will read Psalm 119 verse 143 in the NIV and it says trouble and distress have come upon me but your commands give me delight I didn't want to read that one first <laughs> I wanted to read the other one first <laughs> I wanted to read the other one first but um yes and psalms psalm 140 king james version and it reads deliver me o lord from the evil man preserve me from the violent man which imagine mischief in their hearts continually are they gathered together for war they have sharpened their tongue like a serpent adders poison is under their lips Selah. keep me o lord from the hands of the wicked, preserve me from the violent man who, who have purpose to overthrow my goings. The proud have a he, the proud have hid a snare for me in cords. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set gins for me, Selah. I said unto the Lord, Thou art my God. Hear the voice of my supplications, O Lord. O God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation. Thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. Grant not, O Lord, the desire of the wicked, further not his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves, Salah. As for the head of those that compass me about, let the mischief of their own lips cover them. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into deep pits, that they rise not up again let not any evil speaker be established in the earth evil shall hunt the violent man to overthrow him i know that the lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and the right of the poor surely the righteous shall give thanks unto thy name the upright shall dwell in thy presence amen so those two psalms falls into the vision if you remind yourself of the vision and proverbs chapter 3 verse 6 all of this so it plays in the psalms plays in with the vision and everything because we also have to put all our trust in holy ashaya while being threatened with evil the evil around the world um, the strong man. We have to have faith through our challenging times that we're going through. We already going through enough, and the world and the enemy and everything else adds to this. And just you know, remember what Moses said to Israel in the book of Exodus. He told Israel, "The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still." And sometimes we forget that. Sometimes we really do forget that the Lord will fight our battles for us. We worry about this and this and that. Instead of we need to be praising him that we're going through what we're going through and give it to him and, and leave it there. And we need to be praising and worship him and, and giving thanks and giving him the glory. Because glory is his. All the glory is his. It belongs to him.
through everything we're going through. Glorify, Holy Father, Holy Ashaya, Holy Spirit, glorify. Glorify. So, um, you know, we really, we really do need to. So sorry, brothers and sisters. I heard my phone beep. I had to find a charger. <laughs> I had to find a charger. So I um, stopped the video when I should have paused it. So where was I stumbling between so, so, so? Okay. So let's finish this video up. Um, I just want to give you um, a verse in Isaiah uh, chapter 40, verse 31. Okay, because sometimes when we going through things, we lose our faith, we lose our strength, we get weary in our daily lives. And Isaiah 40, 31 says it best. Yeshia says it best. Um, and it's in the King James Version. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He's going to give us the strength that we need to get whatever, get through whatever it is that we're going through. And he's going to give us the boldness that can, and and to be courageous and he's going to give us discernment wisdom and all that other good stuff when it comes to the to the enemy he he has already equipped you on the inside you just need to bring it out because the stresses and strain of this world uh, plus what the enemy takes us through it's a lot you can't get weary in this walk um, and we do need to fight. So, put on your full armor and fight. Put on your full armor, anoint your head and feet, fight. Pray without ceasing, fasting. Fight. What? There is no better thing than praying. Praying. Um anything demonic, anything that is not from Holy Ashaya, any, any monitoring spirit, spirit, anything that, that just finds a way to get in, to cast a stumbling block. Anything can be prayed against it. The cords can be cut from the wicked. Apply the blood to your life every day, all day. So we can keep our strength up in holy in holy Ashaya. It's just teaching us to be the light that we need to be to be able to help others. Everything that I'm going through in my life that you're going through, me teaching the Psalms, us me going through the Psalms, going through all the teachings that we've been doing for the past few weeks is helping us is growing us we're growing in christ together it's not just one person it's a body it's a whole body of us different parts one body and so we're all growing and we're learning and we got to learn how to fight too got to learn how to fight so we do not have to anguish or be anxious or be discouraged when bad things happen in our lives, when it seems a situation is hopeless or the matter at hand is just too overwhelming. You know, we may get tempted to doubt, but don't doubt. Don't doubt. Go read that scripture in Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 read that scripture read it over and over if you have to have to and um that is the video
that is everything that I wanted to say. Um, I just hope and pray that this video reaches who it needs to. And I pray that the message in it that that person or people receive. Um, I just thank Holy Father, Holy Yeshua, Holy Spirit. I just thank you, Lord, for everything. I really do. I, it's so many things that the Lord has done for me. I can't even name them all. He's still doing them, y'all. I'm just, I'm so grateful, Lord. I'm so thankful. I really am. I could not come on here and do these videos like this and, you know, put myself out here. But I got a job to do. We all have a responsibility in the body to feed the sheep. And um, and sometimes, you know, with everything else that's going on, you know, it, it gets kind of hard to do that too. But even if you're not, if you don't have a ministry, and your ministry could be out there feeding the homeless or buying clothes for them, it could be just talking to young people every day about finding Jesus and you know or just giving your testimony just somebody hearing your testimony could just turn their whole life around that day so it's it's uh it's amazing to be used in that way and I just hope and pray that Holy Yeshua continues to let me do this work i just want to continue to be a living sacrifice and obedient to his will because his will will be done on earth as it will in heaven i just want to be able to do everything that he wants me to do and i say yes i always say yes 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 i say yes to your will for my life lord i say i say yes to my book i say yes to it all and to just take me higher and higher and higher and 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 in you, Lord, and just to shine so bright. Just want to shine so bright to help others turn to you, Lord, to for their hearts to open up to receive you. That's what we're supposed to be doing. You know. And if I can do that, just reach one person every day. That's a wonderful thing because I'm, I'm just, I'm human. <laughs> so I just want to uh, leave you all with uh, something to think about. You know, sometimes a higher will take us through things to teach us that he is our deliverer. Yeah. So, that is my video. Blessings to you all. Um, I love you all in Christ. Holy is Yeshia. To the next video.